How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Foodie TV. It's Davian and today in Chiang Mai, Thailand, I'm here at Nang Earthen Roast Pork. This place makes special roast pork. They're known for their roast chicken and they do it in an old clay pot that they've been doing for years and years. And I'm super excited to try it. It's all coming right up in this video. Once you get to the restaurant upon first walking in, it's an open air restaurant. You can smell and see all the roasted pork and roasted chicken being prepped and prepared, cooked in these clay pots. Everything's smelling incredible. Let's take a look at the inside. As you can see all the protein. This is like chicken thigh that's being cooked in this pot. I was just observing what they were cooking earlier and these four pots contain the crispy pork belly. This is like step one. You can see all the juices and oil flowing out, dripping down. And I think they initially cook it for just a little bit. And then they go through different stages of cooking. Moving down to the fourth and final pot of the whole step process. You see all the crispy skin on the pork belly. Everything's looking incredible. The cook is scraping off the burnt parts so you don't get any burnt ends. You get nice char and nice smoky flavor. And now it's time to go sit down and place our order. Cannot wait. They prep the roast pork right there, chopping it up and preparing it for the customers. This is an entire sit down restaurant. As you can see, it's super packed. It's early lunchtime. Uh, they opened at 10.30 a.m. and I got here around 11 and it was already busy. But uh, we're gonna go and try to get a table and get our food and get our order in. Got all our food. I ordered a crispy roast pork with rice. And from what it looks like, it comes with like a gravy on the rice. That's something new. There's also half a boiled egg in there. I also got half a chicken because you can't come here and not try the roast pork and roast chicken because you see them being made uh, hot to order all day long in those clay pots. And then last but not least, I had to get my corn salad as well, as you guys can see there. Corn salad, if you guys watch my other episodes, corn salad is one of my favorite things in Thailand. It's basically a papaya salad, but made with corn instead of the papaya. So enough talk, let's dig right in gonna go with the star of the show which is the roast pork and we're gonna get it without anything to start off this place is so busy right now you guys okay right there mm. the skin is nice and crispy it's a good amount of seasoning on the roasted pork and I like that it tastes lean but it's not dry you know the fat has rendered off and down the clay pot as you saw earlier when we were checking it out so all the fat has rendered off there's still a little bit of fat left but just the right amount and that's that was an incredible piece of roast pork they also came with a dipping sauce. I think this is a soy sauce based sauce. And there's a little bit of chilies in there and I think that's for the roast pork. So let's try it out. Give it a little dip, not too much. I don't want it to be too salty. All right? Cheers, you guys. Mm. Okay, the sauce. There's a little bit of vinegar in there from what I taste. There's a little bit of sugar, some sweetness in there. And then even though there's chilies in there, fresh chilies, there's no kick at all. So if you guys can't handle spice, you're good to go. Okay. Now, let's try some of this rice with the gravy. I don't exactly know what the gravy is, but we're gonna find out real quick. My guess is it's going to be a little on the sweet side. All right, okay. Cheers, you guys. It's like a nice and sweet kind of sauce. 
It tastes like char siu sauce, if you know what I mean. There's a little bit of smokiness in there. Sweet, no tangy. It's pretty good. You can taste the spices in there. I don't know, pretty sure there's like spice, five spice in there, but other than that, I can't really identify what all the spices in that gravy or sauce is. But let's go ahead and try a spoonful with the pork and rice. Mm. Okay. That's a great combination. The sweetness from the sauce, the spices from the sauce. Combine that with the crispy pork belly, the fattiness and the juiciness of it. That was good. It comes with some fresh cucumbers to chase. And then also some scallions. Oh yeah, nice and fresh. Okay, now let's try some of this corn salad before we move on to the chicken. Cheers, you guys. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Solid Thai corn salad. I asked for it to be spicy at first. The server was asking me how spicy I wanted and she recommended medium, but I said spicy all the way. Like that's the only way to do it. And it's a nice kick to this. Mm. Love it. You can see the fresh chilies in the salad itself. Okay. Now, I also ordered a half chicken. You can order a full chicken, half chicken, or chicken thigh. I think upon looking at this, I think I should have gone for the chicken thigh because the breast looks a little dry to me. So we're gonna try it out. Basically, from what I saw when they were cooking it, there they cook it in a whole chicken form, and then they also cook it uh, with chicken thighs. The whole chicken, if you order half the chicken, they just basically cut it in half. But let's try this out. The breast part looks a little dry to me, so we'll see. Mm. Oh wow. I was not expecting that, you guys. The breast is actually still juicy and moist. It's not dry at all. I take that back. As you get towards the outside of the breast, it's a little dry, but it's not like overly super dry, right? There's still some tenderness and juiciness to it. Towards the bone of the breast, that's where the juiciness still maintains. Oh, this chicken's really good. There's a lot of flavor to it. Some saltiness, some that's it, I think <laughs> they just put in saltiness and then you taste the smokiness from being in the clay pot cooked over coals inside the middle. It also came with a dipping sauce on the side. Now I don't know what is in this sauce, so forgive me you guys, but I see chilies, black pepper, maybe some uh, soy sauce, but let's check it out. Give it a dip, cheers. Oh yeah, that sauce makes it. Even though the chicken was a very, very flavorful from its own seasoning, that sauce just takes it to another level. Wow, it's really good. Okay. I just had to sneak in a piece of pork here. All right, I'm gonna try the drumstick or the leg part of the chicken now. This is a tiny drumstick. Nothing compared to like in the States, right you guys? Okay, that's better. Okay, take a dip. Cheers. Mm. 
Mmm. Wow. That drumstick was so tender, so juicy. It almost melts in your mouth, bro. Mm. Perfectly seasoned. So much flavor to it. You already know dark meat has a lot more flavor than white meat, but that one is over the top. So, based on just that alone, you guys, the key play here is if you don't want the rice and you want to stay more on low carb side, you can order crispy pork belly on the side as its own plate. I see a lot of people doing that. It's just different sizes you can order. But for the chicken, I would highly recommend going for the chicken thigh because just based on this little drumstick right here, I can tell the chicken thigh is going to be super juicy, super good. I might actually order one right after I'm done. Mm. That chicken is so good. Hey, right. let's see what my rating is. Crispy pork belly, I would say 9.5 out of 10. It's really good. I wish there was a little more crispy skin, but the pieces that I got, the skin is uh, very minimal, so you don't get that taste. Chicken, I'm gonna say a 9 out of 10, um, but for sure, this place is a must visit. You can taste all the smokiness from the clay pot being roasted in there uh, for a couple of hours. And if you're in Chiang Mai, definitely worth, worth the visit because this place gets really busy. Come early or come like maybe early afternoon when between like 1 and 3 o'clock. That might be a little slower time. But from what I've read, dinner gets pretty busy as well. So I want to finish this up. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment on a recommendation on where I should go in Thailand. I would love all your recommendations where your favorite place is. I would love to try it out. And be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our weekly episodes. Other than that, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode of the Foodie TV. Peace.